So I just want to give uh, a few quick thoughts about this new book that I just finished. It's How to Talk to Anyone 2.0. Uh, a little bit about um, the author, right? Armando L. Guevara, distinguished graduate of California State University, Northridge, has basically turned his personal struggles into the source of this inspiration, um, overcoming extreme social anxiety and uh, learning disability to uh, becoming... Uh, an author and obviously giving some great tips in that. So I want to share some of the things. So first of all, I mean, the structure of the book, uh, table of contents, sub chapters, headings, uh, it's divided into five parts. And some of the things that I wanted to share really, um, I think are profound is understanding body language and when in in your communications with other people and how that body language changes depending on the conversation that you're having, which was something that I thought was really enjoyable. Um, so whether it's anger, love, frustration, communication, um, you know, sales, different things like that. There's a bunch of different things that he talks about in here about, um, you know, communicating beyond words, right? So the body language part of it. So a couple of things I've got some highlighted because I want to share some, some spots with you. Um, let's see. Um, how to transition from small talk to deep conversation. So this is in relationship building. He goes into a bunch of different steps about um, not multitasking when you're having conversations, but this idea as someone deeply enamored with the art of storytelling and communication, I was intrigued by a revelation that underscored the profound impact of narratives. I've always known that stories to be delightful and a connective medium. Um, yet, and this is where he pulls in some outside information from uh, Princeton University, is while we're being aware of social advantages in small talk, the, small talk, the question remains, how do we elevate it to more substantial conversations? And the key to that is patience. And he goes on to talk a lot about this, uh, a lot about more using examples from, from other books and studies. But this idea of transforming from small talk to meaningful, memorable, connecting conversations, I thought was really powerful. Um, and then let's see, I have a couple other spots highlighted. I want to make sure. Um, talks about the power of silence um, and uses, you know, no man has ever listened this his way out of a job. And he goes on to talk about the power of silence in all conversations, maybe being the last one to talk or just active listening. And, and what that looks like, what that feels like, uh, what, it, what it means on the receiver side of the other person on the conversation. And then lastly, um, is talking about difficult conversations. He breaks down the different types of difficult conversations that you can have, what this looks like, um, ways that you can make those better. Uh, and one of the quotes, let's see if I have it marked, is um, using absolutes is you want to avoid absolutes. And this is something that I've read before and just reemphasized in this book, you never, you always. And when we put people in absolutes, it actually breaks down that conversation and people get defensive and then we don't get anywhere. Anyway, so just those are some of my thoughts, how to talk to anyone 2.0. There's the back, you can see a picture of the author there, a little bit about uh, him. So highly recommend it.